guys, it's Liz, and, um, what? Uh, today, I'm gonna do a book review. Um, so, pretty much, I got this idea from Anna, actually, because she's like, you know how I ever, never have uploaded anything on YouTube? I'll link that down below if you guys want to subscribe before she puts up videos. Um, you guys seen her, my best friend video if you look at the best friend tag. I'm going to do a book review on first book right here but then if you guys want to see the rest of the book reviews they'll be on this outfit. This is just like the beginning video and they'll also be oh, uh, this uh, 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 okay <laughs> this video will also be uploaded on Liz's outfit too um yeah Liz's outfit there's not a second one okay um so let's get started uh so the first book I'm just like going because of that. I have uh, lots to the book. Um, this is uh, Just One Day by Gallen Foreman. Don't really know how to say her name, but yeah, it's for one more day. And um, she's the author of If I Stay Too. Really good book, though. It's pretty thick, as you can see. Um, these books, I haven't really read them in a while, so like that's why I'm having a lot of book reviews at once. Gonna get put up. Well, they're gonna not be put up at once, but like pretty much they're gonna be put up. Uh, good time. I don't know. Uh, so I don't know what I'm saying here. I'm just like rambling the whole freaking time. Just like get the cord. Um. Okay. Oh well. Oh well. By May Day Parade. Just stuck in my head now. Okay. Anyways, but uh. Okay, let's just get into this book. Um, so pretty much it's about a girl. She is from, like I said, I haven't read these books in a while, so let me just check. Um, okay, it's Allison. Okay, Allison, though, she's pretty much a senior in high school. She was a senior in high school, not summer. Going to college, because she's, she's the what? She's growing up. Uh, so yeah, pretty much that, and like her parents, like, you could go on this tr European trip with, like, your best friend, like, oh my gosh, yay, and they're, like, with the tour group. I, yeah, th like, that kind of stuff, and then they were, like, sitting there, like, oh my gosh, this is so fun in the park, and I'm horrible at explaining stuff, so I don't know why I'm starting these book reviews, but I am, so you guys better like them, and I'm gonna wear, like, the same shirt and the other ones, too, because I think I'm gonna record them all on the same day. I'm way off track. I took my ADD pill. This should, like, help. Okay, anyways, so pretty much she's, like, in the park, and she's, like, oh my gosh, like, awesome we're here I don't even know no she doesn't say it, I don't think anyway so but there we're gonna see a play I think it was Hamlet no it wasn't it was some play yes I think it was Hamlet and they're like oh yeah we already saw that and she's like I'm sick <laughs> to the like the tour guide person whatever the person that's in charge and she's like oh okay and she's like oh I'll take care of her her friends like oh yeah I don't know which one's like I'm sick but that's not important people um, cause they're not really sick. Uh, and they get a, fl a flyer from like this strange person, this guy. He's a little good looking. That's what they say. I don't know the books. I have no visuals. Which sucks, but I imagine him with flowy hair for some reason. Okay, I'm getting off topic again. So pretty much, they're like, okay, let's just go to this one. So it's like a street kind of play and he performs Twelfth Night and his name is William. I think. It's really spelled weird. I think. It's not how you spell William, is it? I don't know. Okay, so that's pretty much what happens. And then he, like, looks right at her and, like, oh, we share a moment. I think he gives her a coin. I don't remember. Maybe that part's important. I don't know. Um, so pretty much that's what they do there. And then, like, then. What else happened? And then they meet up with like William, weird name again, uh, they meet up with him and, cause they like try to find him and stuff and then he's like, you will never say in Paris? Or he's like something like that, I don't know, I think it's Paris, uh, yeah I'm pretty sure it's Paris and um, or no, you didn't really see Paris or something like that cause they're like tourist people and um, they're like no and it's like, well you should come with me. Oh, they they meet with him on the train, okay, people? And he's like, well, you should come with me. So they get off the train, and then the friend's like, no. 
I'm not coming. I can't stand. Okay, I'm not coming. And then, well, like, she doesn't want to go. But then, um, Allison's like, yay, let's go. Um, it's pretty much, that's what happens. They go in Paris. They kind of fall in love. They have sex. Ooh, spicy. Okay, it's not, like, weird, though. It doesn't, like, describe it. Like, uh, sweat was dripping off my forehead. It's not, like, that kind of stuff. Um, they, like, do a pretty good job at, like, non- Describing at the same time describing not like the weird kind of sex scenes. You know what I'm talking about like I'm watching out for you 50 shades of gray I have read that book. Um, but anyways, I thought that was a fashion book I picked up at Costco. I'm like mom. Let me get this and she's like no I'm like, oh, it's a sex book. What? Okay. Anyways, um, so Oh uh, Cuz Kim Kardashian like post down there. I didn't read the description on her Instagram and I was like wow It must be a fashion book cuz it's Kim Kardashian I don't know how to pop in my head. Anyways, um it's pretty much where was I okay they have sex and then he like leaves her the next day and she's like he ditched me she flies home she goes to college but she can't stop thinking about him um because like they never got to say goodbye it's just like a one night stand kind of thing she's like did he really do that to me because she kind of thinks he's like a player um and then like I didn't give away anything that was that big well I guess I kind of did they had sex but that you know that wasn't that big um and Will she find him again? Will she go back to Europe? Will she not? Will she just forget about him? The world will not know unless she read this book. Oh, I, I like this book. My mouth made a weird noise. Okay, I like this book. I give it a 5 out of 5. I really recommend reading it. And the people I recommend this to is like girls pretty much. Guys, I don't think will like this at all. Um, I'll be surprised though. I mean, there are some guys that might like this. I'm not putting them down. I'm just saying. Uh, so yeah, I recommend this for girls. And uh, you could read this if you're like in middle school or whatever. If you just like reading. I mean, like the sex scene, like I said, it's not like a sex scene. Like, oh my gosh. Get the freaking camera out. It's not like that kind of thing. <laughs> um, so yeah. Recommend this. And I'll talk to you later. If you have any book requests for me, please comment below. But note that... What was out there? Okay, note that I'm usually not one for the romantic, so don't leave all your romantic sobby stuff in the comments below because I will probably not really want to read it. Um, here is like my kind of books I like. I, like, I really like Mitch Albom books because they're like stories inside stories. And they're kind of like not death. Uh, actually, they kind of are death, um, like close death experiences. Like, I like those kind of books, you know what I mean? Like, dark. Not dark, not dark. I don't like mystery kind of books, and I don't like, um, spells. Like, that kind of books. Like, Harry Potter. Like, that's the stuff I don't like. Uh, don't flip out, because I don't like Harry Potter, because I'm sure there's other people that don't like it like me, guys. Okay. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, recommend this book. If you have any book requests, like I said, leave in the comments below after what I being said. Because I don't really like romances. Uh, so talk to you guys later and bye.